Hello citizens, I am back with another Star Citizen guide. Today I am gonna talk about how to sell maize for a double of the usual price. In case you don't know, Weevilex is the most valuable contraband which you can sell for around 120k per 1 SCU. Maize is the second most valuable contraband or illegal commodity that you can sell between 80 or 90k per 1 SCU. As you can see here, I am selling one SCU of maize for around 160k, which is almost double of the usual selling price. So, what is the secret here? Well, it is Jump Town PvP event, which we now have pretty often in Star Citizen Universe. What I want you to learn in this video is how to use Jump Town event in the future to sell maize without taking unnecessary risk by actually going to Jump Town to acquire maize, which you can sell for almost a double price because we all know that not everybody likes to participate in PvP events where you can get killed by other players very easily. If you are one of those players, then this is a video for you. There are two ways on how you can acquire maize in Star Citizen. One of them is mercenary drug related missions in bunkers where you can find and take small boxes of maize and then use Jump Town events to sell them for double price. I have a video where I have explained of what type of missions you need to take to get maize in bunkers, so if you want you can watch this later. Video will be on your top right corner right now and I will include a link to this video in the description and pinned comment section. So once you have maize in your possession, you need to activate the Jump Town event so that you can sell the maize for double price and most important thing is that you can now sell maize in Space Station where Jump Town event is active. You can find out where you can sell maize by opening your mobile glass, go to your contracts and under general tab search for priority. Now you will see this confiscate contraband mission. Take it and you will find out that in this case Jump Town is active on Daymar and you can sell your contraband in admin office on Seraphim station. For purpose of this video I took only 7 boxes from the bunkers just to show you that these small boxes of maize now worth 20k per box, well usually you will get 10k per one box of maize. Before I show you the second and best way to acquire a large quantity of maize, let me tell you about my new Drake Corsair loadout which is awesome for ERT missions where I need to disable my targets to be able to extract the valuable illegal cargo from them. Believe me, if you decide to use this loadout, I guarantee you that your enemies will be doomed. So here is my new loadout where I have swapped my two size 4 ballistic repeaters that I have used before for two size 4 deadbolt ballistic cannons which I use only when I need to disable big targets like Reclaimer, Starfarer, 890 Jump or Karak. For all other targets I use four size 5 85B ballistic repeaters. I believe this is a good starting point for you to try and then make some changes that maybe better fit your combat style. I personally love ballistic setup because then I can transfer all power to shields and engines while I'm in combat. Now let's get back to that second best way to get maze. Second and most popular way on how to get a large quantity of maze is of course VHRT and ERT bounty missions. I will also include a video guide on that in both description and comment section of this video so you can watch it later. In this example I have a star farmer where I have found 84 ACU of maize which is around 7 million of profit when you sell maize for 19k which is usual price on salvage yards. But now you can earn close to 14 million if you use jump down event. This is why you want to fill up your cargo only with maize in case you have limited cargo storage space as I have on my Corsair. I would leave Weevilex in this case since current worth of maize is way higher than Weevilex. Again, you need to take confiscate contraband mission and this time Jump Town event is active on Microtech so I need to sell maize in admin office on Port Tressler space station. If you upgrade your ship with fastest quantum drive as I have on my Corsair, then for example flying from Crusader to Microtech will last around 4 minutes which is acceptable. Here we can see that I have taken around 60 SCU of maze and earned around 10 million in one run.
Okay, if you are still here, please, before you leave, let me know what do you think about new 2.1 jump town locations that are added across the Stanton system. Do you like to participate in these events or you prefer to stay away from PvP action in Star Citizen? In any way, I hope that you will try this method of making money in Star Citizen next time when Jump Town event is active. I know that I made a lot of money by selling maze at a double price than usual, so I am definitely looking forward to next time when Jump Town event goes live. I hope you learned something new today and that this video was informative to you. I would appreciate if you like this video, leave some comments and possibly subscribe to this channel. I love making tutorials and video guides to help new players around the verse. So as I always like to say, until the next video, stay safe in the verse and may the force be with you all.